The world was young, the mountains green, no stain yet on the moon was seen. No words were laid on stream or stone, when Duran woke and walked alone. He named the nameless hills and deep ales. He drank from yet untasted wells. He stooped and looked in mirror mirror, and saw a crown of stars appear as gems upon a silver thread above the shadows of his head. The world was fair, the mountains tall. In elder days, before the fall of mighty kings in Nargothrond and Gondolin, who now beyond the western seas have passed away, the world was fair in Durin's day. A king he was on carven throne in many pillared halls of stone, with golden roof and silver floor and runes of power upon the door. The light of sun and star and moon and shining lamps of crystal hewn, undimmed by cloud or shade of night, there shone for ever fair and bright. Their hammer on the anvil smote, their chisel clove and graver wrote. Their forged was blade and bound was hilt. The delver mine, the mason built. Their barrel pearl and opal pale. And metal wrought like fish's mail, muckler and corslet, axe and sword, and shining spears were laid in hoard. Unwearied then were Durin's folk. Beneath the mountains, music woke. The harpers harped, the minstrels sang, and at the gates the trumpets rang. The world is gray, the mountains old. The forge's fire is ashen cold. No harp is rung, no hammer falls. The darkness dwells in Durin's halls. The shadow lies upon his tomb in Moria, in cast dim. But still the sunken stars appear in dark and windless mirror mirror. There lies his crown in water deep till.